in this tutorial we'll see what is restconf and how we can use that for network automation rest stands for representational state transfer this is typically used for web services and this will be working on http or https and this supports all the common http methods such as get post put patch or delete and like netconf RESTConf also is a transport protocol for configuring the device and both supports same data model which is YANG. YANG we have seen earlier in NetConf. So both will be supporting same data models and here we can see RFC of RESTConf. Let us open that. And here it, it says it is an HTTP based protocol that provides a programmatic interface for accessing data defined in YAM. And they are referring to even NetConf protocol here. So both are using same data model. And if you scroll down, we should be able to see the API resources and the RESTConf methods. So this supports get post put patch and delete later we'll see all this with some examples and here the metadata you can see they support both xml and json if you compare rustconf with netconf netconf was working on ssh connection earlier we were initiating ssh connection to device using port number 830 and in the netconf tutorial we have seen how to enable netconf and initiate connection to the device and the data we were passing was xml data netconf supports only xml data but in case of restconf we can initiate this from multiple clients clients like postman or you can even use curl command or you can use some of the other python libraries like request now let us go back to the RFC documentation here in the media type we can see the content type we need to give application slash yang hyphen data plus xml or json based on the content type and accept we'll be getting the response from device this also we'll see later and here in the resource retrieval example we can see the client starts by retrieving the restconf root resource and client will be hitting this particular URL for getting the root resource of restconf and server should respond with this data and then to get the top level API resource client will be hitting this particular URL and server will respond with this data and if you want to get server module information client will be hitting this particular url and if a device supports rust conf so they need to support all these kind of request and response format we will verify all this using postman later and now let us go back to the rest documentation here it says rest relies on standard protocols like http or https and this supports the http methods like get post put and delete and here they have given the communication flow so client will be requesting for the object state and server will respond to the client and if you want to change something client will specify desired state and in case of rust everything client accesses is resource and it is identified by uri and here we can see the structure of a uri so here so first will be giving the scheme it is http or https then we'll have host port number and here we'll be giving the complete uri information and 
this is one example of rust xml data so we can send data either in xml format or json format and in this example they are accessing nx os api using xml data so this is the request and this is the response and in case of xml we have root element and each elements are separated using a starting and closing tag and this is the json example so it is more human readable data and here you can see it is like python dictionaries and earlier in the data serialization we have seen how to convert json into python data structure and if you want to learn more about the rust standards and rust specifications you can go through all these documentations and this also will be supporting same yang data model as i have mentioned earlier to get the data models you can go to either standards and here you will be able to see ietf and rfc defined standards and to get the api details you can go to yang suit click on protocols go to rust conf and from here we can select the yang set select the device here i'll select ios xc native depth i'll give no limit load module and from here we will be able to explore all the api details and this i have even explained in the yang suit tutorial and in the next tutorial we'll see how to initiate api from postman